Obart School of Welding Technology presents Training in Gas Tungsten Arc Welding. Topic number 12, Lecture Discussion. Introduction to Gas Tungsten Arc Welding Using Pulsed Current. Objective. To provide a basic orientation to the gas tungsten arc welding process using pulsed current. In normal gas tungsten arc welding, the current is maintained at a constant value, such as 100 amps, and this value would be constant for the entire weld bead from start to finish. Sometimes a foot pedal rheostat is added to the circuit, allowing the welder to vary the current as welding progresses. In this manner, the welder is able to compensate for the buildup of heat in the workpiece by reducing the current as he travels along the joint. The pulsed current method provides a variation of both types of current control. That is, pulsed current allows the current to fluctuate between two distinct values of current. These two values are referred to as a high current value and a low current value. As you watch the arc, you see that it changes from bright to dim for specific periods of time, usually less than one second. The bright period is when the high current is on. The dimmer period is when the low current is on. If we could see a cross section of the weld as it is being deposited, it would appear as in this slow motion animation. With the torch held over the joint, a pulse of the high range current melts the base metal to the desired depth to form a nugget-like weld shaped like a small upside-down chocolate drop. If filler metal is required, it would be added at this time. When the current drops to the lower level, the weld starts to solidify. If the torch is moved a small amount, usually to the leading edge of the puddle, while the low current is on, the high current again comes on to make an overlapping nugget weld. By spacing the welds so that they overlap, a continuous weld is formed. If we look at a graph of the current level, we can see what is happening to it. Again, we will slow the timing so that it can be explained while it is being shown. With the torch held at the starting point, the current quickly jumps up to the high level. While the high level stays on, the weld nugget is formed. The current then drops quickly to the low level, which allows the weld to cool. The next pulse of high level current melts another area under the new position of the torch. This cycle is repeated as the torch is moved along the joint to provide the desired weld. Four controls must be properly adjusted in order to produce a successful weld with pulsed current. The high pulse current, low pulse current, high pulse time, and low pulse time. The high pulse current is the level at which melting and fusion take place and is normally adjusted slightly higher than would be required with steady current for equivalent material thicknesses. For example, stainless steel applications that normally require 35 to 40 amps would require about 50 to 60 amps for pulsed current. The low pulse current is the current level at which the weld metal begins to solidify. Usually this control is set at a percentage value of the high pulse current. For example, if the high pulse current is set at 60 amps and the low pulse current setting is adjusted for 33%, the low pulse current would be 20 amps or 
33% of 60. The low pulse current is normally set in the approximate range of 25 to 50% of the high current, usually a setting that is sufficient to maintain the arc during the low pulse time is all that is required. The high pulse time is the duration of the high pulse current. The high pulse time is set to allow the formation of a weld puddle with the desired depth of penetration. The thicker the base metal, the longer the high pulse time. The low pulse time is the duration of the low pulse current and is set long enough to allow movement of the torch. There are many combinations of current values and pulse times that can be set to suit the welding conditions. With these adjustments, the welder can control the size of the puddle, the depth of penetration, and the size of the finished weld. Once you become accustomed to pulsed current, you should be able to recognize the effects of various setting adjustments on the weld. For example, if the puddle becomes too large, the high pulse time should be reduced. Or if the penetration is too deep, the high pulse current should be reduced. The pulsed current method of gas tungsten arc welding is especially useful on light gauge metals. The pulsing effect provides even heat input, which can reduce the chance of excessive melt-through or producing holes in the weld. Pulsed current also reduces warpage and distortion on light gauge metals. The pulsed current method of welding is commonly used to weld the root and sometimes the second pass on fixed position pipe. One reason it is used for these applications is because pulsed current can tolerate more joint edge misalignment. Another reason for pulsed current is its good out of position welding characteristics. In the vertical and overhead positions, the weld metal has a chance to solidify before it can run out of the puddle. In some respects, the pulsing action of the current is helpful to the welder, since the pulsing action allows the welder to pace the torch movements and the filler metal addition. The various manufacturers of this type of welding equipment can provide additional information with regards to equipment operation and welding parameters.